How's it going gamers? Welcome to the Super Smash Bros. Breakdown series here on GBN. In this show we'll be talking about everything Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, breaking down the characters, items, stages, and announcements from the Super Smash Bros. Dojo website on Wii U and 3DS. Also in the series we'll be discussing characters we'd love to see in the game or possible movesets for said characters if they were in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. If you have your own suggestions for video ideas in the series, you can leave them in the comment section below and become part of the series. Overall, Super Smash Bros. Breakdown will be a place to discuss everything we want to see in the game and everything we know already. Pyrosphere is a new stage in the upcoming Super Smash Bros. for Wii U game. This stage is from the Metroid series, and more specifically Metroid Other M on the Nintendo Wii. This stage is pretty much the final battle where you fight Ridley in the game with Samus, so it's without a doubt that we'll definitely see Ridley in this stage as a hazard. Even Master Hero Sakurai hinted at it in his Miiverse post revealing this stage. So for those of you hoping to get Ridley in the game as a character selection, sorry it's Probably not going to happen, he's most likely going to be a hazard within this stage so expect that as well as just for the stage analysis, Ridley will somehow be part of this stage, if anything he might just fly around and attack you, uh, I guess sort of like you would see the ships or the R wings in a Star Fox stage, so in that similar fashion. Pyrosphere seems to be a very large size stage, it's not gigantic but it's also not the size of Battlefield, it's slightly larger most likely around the size of Final Destination, if anything. There's also small floating platforms in the air, very much in the style of the Super Mario Sunshine stage in Brawl, so you'll be able to fight on those as well. And there's also seems to be some lava or plasma floating from the side, so you'll see that nice aesthetic for the Metroid level, and it's sure to be very eye-popping in HD. So far, Pyrosphere sure looks amazing from what we've seen in these screenshots. I'm a huge fan of the whole flat level design, especially in stages like Final Destination, in Battlefield, those are being my favorite stages in Brawl. I like this, it looks awesome. I don't. I didn't really like the whole thing that the other Metroid stages had where they would move around, you could break them apart. I didn't really like that. Less obstructive or anything, but that of course might change with the Ridley just randomly flying in the background. But other than that, the stage looks awesome. That lava fall in the background is going to look amazing in HD once it's moving. And hey, we'll probably see Ridley in HD randomly causing havoc throughout the stage. So look forward to that as well. But that does it for our analysis of the Pyrosphere stage in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. If you caught something that we may have missed, please tell us in the comment section below and share it with us and the rest of the community. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out the playlist for the rest of the episodes of Super Smash Bros. Breakdown. And better yet, if you have your own suggestion for a character analysis, a stage analysis, something you want us to do on the show, tell us in the comment section below and we may just do it. Thank you all for being some fantastic and awesome viewers. And we'll see you guys in the next one.